Okay, finally, we've made it to the end of this lesson. It's been a long one, but pretty quick also because these exercises were short. Okay, so Aesop's Fables Part 2. We just worked on the bookshelf. We applied filters to every book, and hopefully you got that done in the previous exercise, and everything looks different. Okay, so in a future lesson, we're going to add an animation to make it seem like the book is opening. To prepare for that animation, we first need to change the background image. Your job, copy your code from the previous exercise. I'm going to open that up in a new tab. Add a CSS rule to style CSS that changes the background image to this image here. Okay, when you hover over the book, so we're going to use that pseudo class of hover, hint, you will have to use the hover selector. Look carefully at each element that is a book. Those are the elements that you added IDs to last time. What other attribute do they all have in common that you can create a CSS rule with? Okay, so there's a little hint to get your hover rule set up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing we want to do is copy that code over. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, so I'm just going to control. Oh, no. That's not gonna work. Okay, so control C over in part two, we'll control B. And then also don't forget you want to copy your style sheet. You have those filter rules. I did not complete it all the way. I only had four, I believe, set up. So yours should have six different filters. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and insert that here. Let's run it to see if we got everything correct. Okay, I might want to go back in later and change that invert filter to get something a little bit better than the gray box, but for now, we'll just keep it as is. Okay, so the thing that I want to apply first is, okay, I just paused for a moment because I realized that the first book is still the same color, but I realized it's the hue rotation filter. This one is also not going to have a tremendous dramatic effect because it's basically all the same hue, so it's rotating it over to the to 180 degrees, but you're still getting the same color. Anyway, uh, point is, hue rotation may not be the best option in this case either, but nonetheless, we are going to stay focused, Dina. <laughs> okay. Um, do 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 do. Oh, wrong exercise. All right, too many tabs open. All right, so copied our code, got that done. Now in the style sheet, let's go ahead and do that background image. So we are going to first use our hover selector. Okay, let's find out what do all of these have in common. So it's the element that we added the ID to, so we know that's the div, and every single one of these divs has the same class, okay, the class of book. So instead of writing six different rules for hovering over the book, we just need one rule for the entire book class. Okay, so I'm gonna go over in the style sheet and add that in at the bottom. So dot book colon hover to activate my hover class. I want the background dash image. Remember, always, always consult docs if you forget what the syntax is, but I believe I know this off the top of my head. It's just URL and you are then going to copy the URL for the image. Okay, control C, control V. So this is basically saying whenever I hover over any element in the book class, change the background image to this. Let's go ahead and test it out. Best way to know if your code is actually working. Okay, so if I hover over this, beautiful. Okay, still going to have that image effect so that will still be applied but when you hover over you should see the book opened all right that wraps up lesson 13 okay if you have any questions remember just leave them for me down below and i will get back to you and very nice job we are almost at the end of advanced html lesson 14 is next nice nice work everyone